Hi, I'm about to show you how to remove the spring from your carburetor and replacing it with the solid rod. Okay, the first thing we do, <clears throat> obviously, we take these bolts off. Okay, take the air filter off. <coughs> okay, and you'll see another nut on top. And do that as well. <coughs> and what you do, just pull this chalk and the ex and the petrol okay, arms to the center and you just slowly slide it off okay now you can see the gasket there <clears throat> okay now I'm gonna take the springs off there Okay, I have pulled both of the springs off. Okay, the next thing I want to do is okay, put it nice and safe again. <clears throat> right, what I'm planning to do, if I can pull the carburetor out slowly, mind the gasket. Right. Now if you look inside here, okay, this is where the accelerator throttle is, and it accelerates full throttle close. Okay, so while this is there, our aim is to put a solid rod in here okay and come across onto the linkage okay and use this direct acceleration in one go <clears throat> otherwise while it is connected onto the governor each time that the governor gets engaged then your accelerator is going to pull back again and you're back to zero so to avoid that to gain the full power from your carburetor as well this is what we're going to do now if you follow me okay what you need is a two mil welding rod basically cut it in half that's all you need and the remainder okay this part I'm just gonna get rid of the rod the electro from the Okay. Now, you can have some measurements here, which I already prepared it for you. You can start from the center, or what you do, you simply bend about 10 millimeters. This way. The center piece, the middle piece, is the important part, which it should be 80 centimeters, which we can measure down here to give you a better reading. Okay. So this is where we are. I'm going to bend it from that point. Okay, from this point outwards, what you want to remember, we are bending it opposite direction. From here, now this time I'm going upwards. There, right? Okay, just a fraction more. Okay, the next thing we want, 
five millimeter upwards this way and the remainder which we don't need another five mil just cut it you got yourself a solid accelerator rod which I will already prepare one in at once but if you measure them you'll see that they are both identical okay so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to fit this either one of them okay now make sure this is the single part single band it goes into the groove of the carburetor which is there I can take it out if you can see it clearer there it sits slightly slides in nice and smooth now if this is any more than two millimeter then you're going to have trouble because it's not going to fit in there. it's going to be tight and it's going to be sticky so make sure the rod is not more than two millimeters so that goes in there and the cut it comes out there so there is no escape as you can see okay now we are putting the carburetor back on <clears throat> okay the next thing we need to do this is another important part <clears throat> Okay, now if you look at the rod, I have two holes on here. Most probably you haven't got it on yours. So you need to drill roughly from the hole, from the existing hole to the next one about an inch. Okay, now the drill bit you need to use is 3 mil drill. Okay, which it fits in there nice and comfortable. Okay. Okay, uh, where the two holes are, you can choose any one you like. They will both do the same job, same trick. Just put it from this end. Okay. All the way and this way and over. Okay, put the big washer on top. The 10 mil screw ready. Now, what I want you to do tighten it hand tight. You should be able to do this by hand till it stop. Okay, that doesn't move, it's a bit stiff. Now, I want you to come back half a turn there. Okay, even that was too much, so just go a little bit forward. That's it. Okay, now. As you can see, we got a full throttle. That's the stopper. This is the stopper part. Now, if I can okay, show you there. That's the stopper part when I'm okay, this accelerating and accelerating. Okay. Now the next job we need to do how to operate this from the other end because we're going to ignore this in fact we're going to dislocate it <clears throat> now uh, just to save you time this is what I done basically a bracket ordinary bracket okay which this bracket is gonna go on here All right and as you can see, I have drilled another hole here. Okay. And that's going to get tightened up there. Okay. Then, as you accelerate, this is going to pull that forward and backwards. And what you need next 
a spring in here and the job is done. You are pulling it to accelerate with this end forward and backwards. Okay, keep the arms straight again. Okay, that goes into the breather. Basically, all you need to do next is your petrol feet back in. Put your nuts and bolts back together again, air filter on top, and as I said, the accelerator goes on the side, which it pulls this part, and you've got a full throttle and no governor.